The key to completing chambers has been unlocked, and my extreme one chunk Iron Man now has two unique items. Now, we can't stop until we have one of these three weapons. In the last episode, we knocked out two big skilling goals, level 90 hunter and 90 cooking, so now we can catch and cook the best bats in the raid. Then we tried some challenge mode raids with the new cox changes, and finished with our first two purple lights from mega scale raids. Now let's continue where we left off. Another lucky impling on this account, it is Zemi page 4, kinda funny. Hopefully we saved the good drops for the chunk count. Level 80 mining. And this is the last milestone until level 90, because we can now mine tier 8 stars. Good luck. I didn't hide, but... <laughs> ah. We got blood runes, that's not too bad of a job, we'll take that. Please! <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> yes, that one uh, had a bit of pain to it. <laughs> oh, a dark relic. Nice, that's good. To use this dark relic on farming. Should be some levels here. Level 20 farming. Only need four levels until we can boost in order to start picking, I believe, Goal par in the raids, and then we can start actively training our farming level to get to 55. You pick Noxfer in the raids. 127k points. Decent chance, not the full chance for a purple. Let's see. It's purple. Third purple on the account. Let's see. Three, two, one. Second arcane, <laughs> third purple. I mean, it's nice to get a purple on a raid like that because there wasn't a great chance at a purple anyway. <laughs> it wasn't like the best chance at a purple. So, I mean, cool, we got a purple. <laughs> we take that. Second purple of the day. See what we get. Dex, that's a unique. Nice. <laughs> Dex is good, Dex is good. 74 prayer is actually like doable. It'll be like a while, but I'd actually go for it at some point. But Dex is nice, we'll take Dex. Woo, let's go. In attempt to get 74 prayer, I just wanted to first test out what our prayer XP per hour is uh, with just the rune sim. So after an hour of testing, I got 1.6k prayer XP, as well as 32k strength XP. Assuming that as our stats get higher, our XP per hour will also get higher, I could expect to finish this grind in just under 500 hours. When we finally get 74 prayer, we would also have level 93 in attack, strength, defense, and hit points, assuming that we train them evenly. This is definitely a grind that I would be looking forward to if I had a better melee upgrade and we could knock out much faster. Plus, we are able to catch Dragon Implings once the Valamore update comes out and we can expect around 600 prayer XP on average per Impling, which would help out a lot. Now, we are coming back to Mega Scales with a mission to get a melee weapon. Not only did I want to grind out these raids, I also want to improve them, making them faster and more efficient. First strategy was to stack the Mystics so that we could chin them. Compared to picking them off one by one, like I was doing previously, this tactic saves me a half an hour alone. Although I make it look easy in this clip, setting up the mystics can easily go wrong with just one misclick, just like in this clip. The next time saver comes in the Ulm room. 
Previously for the melee hand, I was more comfortable using the 1 to 0 method, which means that for every one hit on Ulm, he is unable to get a single hit on me. This is a very safe method. It was great for me just trying to get comfortable with the Ulm fight in general. In order to speed up the fight, I've started using the 3 to 1 method, which means for every 3 times that I hit Ulm, he only hits me once. This method results in much faster melee hands, using less stamina, purple sweets, and restore, but more bruise. I do have to be careful though because there's also more chances to die with this method. Level 50 thieving. Randomly from thieving chests in a mega scale. Oh, level 84 fishing. Six more to go. All right. Let's go. Walk up. Can it be a back three back? I think there's a good chance. <laughs> no way. No way. Twist the bow. Oh my god, twist the bow. Now that I have your attention, I want to give you guys a little challenge. If you can get this video to 5,000 likes, I will release the next video early. I was going to stock up some clips, but I'm also interested in seeing how bad you guys want the next episode. So go ahead, take a second, and click the like button now before we get to the good stuff. Alright, well, let's see what we got. If we get arrows, or runes, or a dark relic, or a coal, I guess we're happy. None. We got none. <laughs> White light. <laughs> Unlucky. That's a lot of blood runes. I would have rather had some death runes, but blood runes are all right. Let's go for it. The walk. 359k points on this one. Let's see. Purple. We already have the Dragon Hunter crossbow. We got two arcanes and a dex. See what we get here. Okay. <laughs> it's useless, but it's a mega rare, so I'll take it. Let's go. <laughs> a mega rare, no way. This early, that's wild, honestly. For the remainder of its days. Bye. Ooh, it's purple. It's purple. Two raids today, two purples. What did we get? Another dex. It's okay. That's okay. They're bound to happen. The only thing that bothers me is that there's no omelet following me. Scam. Oof. Oof. White light. White light. Let's see. Oof. Rats. Rats. Oh well. Arrows or death runes, please. Cole's good. Oh, I could end it there. No. <laughs> I ended it early. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I ended it early, but I saw it already too. It's white. <laughs> no way I did that. <laughs> It's a purple light. Woo. Believers. What's in the box? Three, two, one. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, dragon claws. We can use this. We can actually use this. 
Extreme One Chunk Iron Man with Dragon Claws. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. Time to spec some stuff out. Let's go. Let's use our Dark Relic on farming for the final time. 3,150 XP, be plenty. Gets us to level 25. And now we can... High boost to level 27 to pick Golpar within the raids. Please preserve, let's do that. We're picking! It's not dead yet, too. I'm amazed that it's not dead yet. 10 XP a pop. Okay, it's dead. <laughs> that one's dead. <laughs> Oh, 36 farming. Now we can use our pies to boost and pick Uchu. And hopefully that's better XP. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, level 52 farming. That will allow us to plus five boost, or sorry, plus three boost to level 55 in order to pick Noxfer. And that is a chunk pass that will be completed as soon as we do that. Alright, first time picking Noxfer. This will be a chunk pass complete. And we're gonna keep picking them because it gives us a lot of points in the mega scales. Playing an account like this takes a lot of effort and there are some things that I just absolutely cannot do by myself. So I want to thank everyone who has in some way helped me make this video and this insane progress possible. First off, for all the people who have done challenge mode raids with me up to this point. Raiding with an account like mine is not easy and these are some really solid gamers to be able to do this and make time and not kill me. There are more of these gamers that will be featured in the next video. If you want to do challenge mode with me and be listed in the future video, message me in game. Doing mega skills properly takes about 5 bill in gear. And I normally play an Iron Man, so big thank you to these gamers for lending me their wallets. And a huge thank you to two of my oldest friends in the game who have gone above and beyond lately to help me. Rob has taught me things about mega skills that I would have never figured out on my own. Alec has been the go-to guy for helping me in the raid, and both have been great mods in my Twitch stream, making an even more fun environment for everyone. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your grandma, whatever you have to do, let's get to 5k likes. I love you all, and enjoy the outro.